hi there let's implement smooth scrolling in react js as you can see here this is the demo that we are going to build in this video you can make your own custom cursor as well as set scrolling momentum as you can see it's very smooth while scrolling you can click on the demo link in the description and try it yourself not only smooth scrolling but when the scroll bar hit the ends it creates a bounce effect we can create this bounce effect through one one of the plugin of this library called smooth scroll bar so let's get started if you already have a content of your own and directly want to see the implementation you can skip this part and move forward to the implementation part of this video first of all create your project directory then open the command prompt there type npx create react app and your app name to create a react starter app change your directory to app folder after this install the library which we are going to use we are going to use this library the smooth scroll bar it provides a customizable and highly performant scroll bars you can also change options from here and see which fits your needs copy this and install it in your react app using npm install after installing this library write npm start to start react development server I have already started one. Open your app folder in the VS code. First, let's clean up some code. Clean this header section and logo import as well. Now as you can see here, we need some dummy content to render on the page like this images. Let's write title first with the title as a class name to get a dummy images I'm using a lorem pixum lorem pixum provides various images directly from the URL we want a list of images so scroll down to the list images section From here, we will get the list of images from this URL. Each object in this list will contain this much information about the image. As you can see here, this URL provides this type of JSON response. Copy this URL and let's fetch it in our app. We are going to use the fetch method in the use effect to fetch all images. After fetching data from URL, we will get response then we have to convert this response in the JSON. Write one more then statement which provides us the JSON data then let's just log this data to see if it's working or not and here in the console we are getting array of 30 objects each object contains details of a single image. Let's store this data in a state. Create one state called images which is undefined initially. Now with the console.log, add set images and pass JSON data in it. Let's render this images. First we will check by putting a condition if images state is not undefined then we will render it. 
we will map images state to render each images create a one div and inside that div add image element now in place of src pass this download underscore url so write image dot download url and in place of alt tag add image dot author for now let's just add static width and height As you can see here, we are getting the images. Let's give this div a class name which is uh, img container. Remove width and height from here. Now open app.css file. You can open any file in VS Code by pressing Ctrl plus P. Then write the file name. Let me just change this theme because it seems it's not much visible. For the image container, we will set the max width to 50VW and margin top and bottom to 4M while left and right margin to 0. And it's looking nice. Actually, we don't need this much images. We can use this limit parameter to set how many images we need. Let's set this limit to 20. Actually, 10 is enough for now. Let's randomly set the left margin for these images as shown in the demo. Create a random function which will return the random number up to 50. Set the inline margin left with this random function value. Make sure to write RAM at the end. And it's working. Now let's implement the smooth scrolling. Create a components folder in the SRC and create one file called smoothscroll.js Let's create a simple function called scroll This component will return null We will implement all the logic in the use effect Make sure to export this scroll component. A 
as I mentioned in this website import scroll bar from smooth scroll bar and add this line in the use effect scroll bar dot init will initialize the scroll bar for the element in the first argument here in the first argument you can pass the element where you want to implement the smooth scrolling we want the scroll in the whole body thus uh, write document dot body here the second argument takes the options let's add this options in this option object you can add various options provided by this library you can find all options in here as well as in the documentation let's add this damping which is a momentum reduction factor and its value is between 0 and 1 set this to 0 0.07 Now let's import the scroll component in the app.js file. Now as you can see this is not working because we haven't provided height for the body element. We have to add height to the element which we have passed in the scroll bar instance. Open index.css file and add height of the body element. Write 100 vh. And as you can see, it's working. Let's fix this warning by adding a key in the return element. Now the warning is gone. Let's uh, customize our scroll bar, then we will add the bounce effect. You can override this scroll bar thumb class in order to customize it. Let's just change its background color to black and make sure to write import keyword. And it's working. Let's hide the scroll track and change its width as well. Now let's add this bouncing effect. To implement this bouncing effect, as you can see here, there is a plugin called Overscroll, which gives us two effects. One is the bounce and other is the glow effect. For the glow effect, when you hit the end, as you can see here, there is a glow at the end. You must have seen this more often on the phone while browsing. You can change different options for the Overscroll plugin. Import this overscroll plugin from the smooth scroll bar. Now to use this plugin, we have to use one of the methods provided by this library. You can visit this page uh, where you will find a lot of useful methods. For now, we will use this method called use. 
right scroll bar dot use and add plugin name. We also have to add plugins in this in the options. So add plugins and add over scroll which takes over scroll options. Create an object for over scroll options. You can manipulate different options from here and also add glow effect here instead of bounce. And now it's working great. Now let's use this destroy method. It is a good practice to destroy event listeners before the component is unmounting. So in the return statement of the use effect, we will check if there is a scroll bar instance, then we will destroy it. Make sure to pass the same element as we have passed before. That's the end of this video. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. If you have any queries, let me know in the comment section. Stay tuned.